On June 3rd, 1943, U.S. Navy sailors and U.S. Marines tangled with Latino young men in what is known as the Zoot Suit Riots. Earlier, our website discussed the Brown Dog Riot and the Eggnog Riot, which just goes to show you that people will riot about almost anything. We will ignore the typical riots such as race-based, all but one sporting event-based, and starving peasants. Here we list ten of the goofiest named riots in history. Any nominees for a sequel list? If so, please let us know in the comments of this video. Number 10. The Nika Hippodrome Riots in Constantinople, 532. Why is this incident the only sporting event riot on this list? Because 30,000 people got killed at the local chariot races. It seems back in the day the fans of various chariot teams were more than just fans, more like a fan club, political party, and gang rolled into one. It seems two of their members were in jail for murder and the blue and green teams wanted them freed. With the Imperial Palace located right next to the Hippodrome, the rioters did not have far to go to attack the Emperor. The clever Emperor bribed the Blues to leave and then had the Greens slaughtered. This event was the worst riot in history. <clears throat> Number 9. Wardsen Cemetery Body Snatching Riot, England, 1862 Angry citizens of Sheffield were enraged by rumors that the pastor and sexton had been selling bodies meant for burial to medical schools for dissection. Turns out the rumors were false, but the two churchmen were found guilty of reusing graves to save space in the cemetery. A memorial to disinterred bodies can be found there today. Number 8. Alcohol Riots. Many Years. A lot of riots seem to have been sparked by alcohol-related issues, including the London Gin Riot in 1743, the Bavarian Beer Riot of 1844, the Whiskey Rebellion of 1794, the Portland Rum Riot 1855, the Lager Beer Riot 1855, the Champagne Riot 1911, and of course the most recent Tampa Cigar and Brewing Company Riot of 2014. In this case, the company had the audacity to run out of beer at an event they were hosting. Number 7. New York Police Riot, 1857 Also known as the Great Police Riot, presumably to separate it from all the not-so-great police riots, the combatants were the New York Metropolitan Police versus the recently disbanded New York Municipal Police. Rampant police and city hall corruption had resulted in the state government mandating the change in police, which eventually resulted in a battle at city hall when the Metropolitans tried to arrest the mayor. The mayor finally agreed to be arrested, ending the riot, but he was never tried for any crime. The municipals who had supported the mayor were then disbanded in fact as well as decree when the mayor removed his support. This was one riot you could really could blame on the police. Number 6. Evil May Day Riot, London, 1517. Calling a riot evil is kind of redundant, but Londoners did it anyway. Fired up by a local Dr. Bell, the mob was instructed to rise up and attack all foreigners in London on May Day, May 1st. They did, and the mob freed some prisoners that were held for previous attacks on foreigners. Although 300 rioters that were arrested were pardoned, 13 of their company were executed for treason, as was John Lincoln, a broker that had put up Dr. Bell to make his speech calling for violence. Number 5. Hard Hat Riot, New York, 1970 When about a thousand college and high school students were protesting the Kent State shootings, four dead in Ohio, and the Vietnam War in general, 200 construction workers had had enough. Enraged at what they thought were unpatriotic actions by the protesters, the hard hats attacked and the brawl lasted two hours. Six people were arrested, and about 70 were injured. The construction workers were carrying signs that read, America, love it or leave it, and American flags. City Hall was stormed. Mayor Lindsay blamed the police, and of course the police blamed the mayor. President Nixon tried to appeal to both sides, presenting himself as a force for peace, while still being anti-communist. Number four, Nylon Riots, United States, 1946. Not to be confused with the polyester or rayon riots, okay, you're right, we made those up, 
The nylon riots were due to the resumption of nylon stocking manufacture after six years of all nylon production being used for military purposes, mostly for parachutes. After the war, ladies flocked to stores to buy the stocks of nylon stockings as soon as a shipment reached the store, usually with more ladies than there were pairs of nylons to sell, resulting in riots. Seriously, would men riot over a shortage of underwear? Maybe. Number three, Body House Riot, London, 1668. Puritanical anti-royalists attacked brothels in London to protest the alleged immoral conduct of the king, Charles II, who was known to take lovers from the ranks of palace courtesans. Apparently the king and royalists were not amused, and they had nine conspirators executed. Number two, Zoot Suit Riots, Los Angeles, 1943. In addition to the usual racial animosity between white servicemen and Latino men, the garish clothing, or zoot suits, worn by the Latinos made them stand out in a crowd. The servicemen thought many of the Latinos were healthy and old enough to serve in the military and attacked them for being unpatriotic. A year later, 1944, Montreal, Quebec, had its own zoot suit riot. Number one, Know Nothing Riot, Washington, D.C., 1857. Considering that the Plug Uglies, the Rip Raps, and the Schiffler Fire Company were all a part of this riot, it is no surprise that they were part of the Know Nothing movement. The outsiders from Baltimore and Philadelphia came to Washington to disrupt voting. These so-called Know Nothings were Protestant Americans that were anti-immigrant and anti-Catholic. President Buchanan called in the Marines and ten rioters were killed, earning him criticism for using military troops against rioters. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines. Your viewership is much appreciated.